Roxy and I'd like to welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make this very easy blues and very simple. See? Um, if you are a beginner you can do it because it's very simple. Um, at these blues, you need to know how to make double crochet and single crochet. And also can be adapted for any size. So don't matter what size you have. Um, the yarn that I use is Alize Diva and I use almost four skeins but I accidentally threw away the packing and, and I'm sorry for that but each skein so Alize Diva with silky effect each skein has grams, meter, and yards. And the producer at this yarn recommends crochet between 1 and 3 millimeter. I use crochet number 3. Um, if you don't have the possibility to have the, that yarn, it's okay. Use any kind of yarn, a thin yarn or very thin yarn. Uh, and also must be a soft yarn, who is suitable with the crochet number three. But you can crochet uh, with any kind of number, of crochet but no more than three millimeter or European size or D for US size. So enjoy this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and how to crochet. Leave a comment if you want and share with your friends. So let's begin. Now, um, you take a blouse, but not too wide. It must be close to the body and measure here at the bottom to here until here okay in my case this blouse for my model has to the left to the right has 44 centimeter and uh, this centimeter I divide by two so in total I have 22 so, I need to chain until I have 22, okay? So, um, I chain 57 and I have 22 centimeters. After you make the base, the base is formed with one row with single crochet. This row doesn't count, but is the base. After I make this first row, my uh, this twenty-two centimeter become twenty-one. 
but that I need to have because look after you make each rectangle we make single crochet around without here at the bottom because we already make one row who is the base so we make here here and here okay and after we join every rectangle the blues become a little large okay so um chain so many stitches as you need but this number must be multiple of three no matter what size you have once again measure a blouse divide by two and chain so many stitch you need but must be multiple of three for this blouse we need to make four rectangle two for the front and two for the back i already make one two and this is the back and one for the front uh, at this blouse you don't need to uh, decrease and don't need to increase so this rectangle is make the same number of stitch with the same number of rows okay you can make for any size okay so i begin in my case the last rectangle after i make the rectangle i will show you how to make single crochet and then i will show you how to join the join is very simple and very easy and it is i think very beautiful it is in zigzag okay and i will show you also how to make the edge the edge will make here at the slave we'll make here at the collar but i will make after i finish the rectangle number four and i will show you how to make it and also we need to make the same edge here all the way around okay now so let's begin if you have the number of chain that you need for your size and is multiple of three skip one and into the next stitch make one single crochet into the next sorry one single crochet into the next one single crochet so this is the base so don't cut okay so crochet until you finish the row and then i will show you the next row i uh, finish 
the first row who is the base look okay and um, this blouse is made with two rows who you need to repeat one row is three double crochet into the same stitch skip two into the third stitch make again three double crochet so this is the first row the second row is single crochet in every stitch i uh, name these two rows one group so one group is one row with three double crochet into the same stitch skip two into the third make again three double crochet and one row single crochet so these two rows is one group if you want want to make uh, like i make with the change the color here uh, follow my instruction if you want to make only in one color you repeat these two rows that i will show you so i need to make one group two and three always when we change the color we change at the row <coughs> sorry where you make uh, three double crochet into the same stitch so i need to make one two and three groups so chain two one and two not three because double crochet is two not three look i i don't have uh, without uh, the border but it look very nice so don't chain three for double crochet okay so chain two one and two and now it's very important how to chain chain uh, sorry how to turn your work especially here where we chain two so your work is like that after you chain two you turn like that yarn over and you need to skip one one because this chain two is count like one double crochet so we have one two and here we make three sorry one double crochet two double crochet and three double crochet okay now you skip two one and two into the third stitch make again three double crochet one two and three once again skip one two into the third make again three double crochet one 
two and three. Okay, crochet. I will crochet until I almost finish the row and I will show you how to finish the row and how to begin the next row. So I almost finish my row. This is the last group of three double crochet and you need to have one and two stitch. Skip one and into the last stitch you need to make one double crochet okay so the finish the row must look the same like the beginning okay now we chain one and turn your work this is the uh, the second row at this group is with single crochet and we begin the first single crochet here okay and now you need to make in every stitch single crochet okay so single crochet in every stitch is very easy and simple oh sorry okay in every stitch I will crochet until I reach here at the last group and I will show you how to finish the row okay I uh, almost finish this row and uh, make a little attention here so we have the last group of three double crochet so we have one two and three and now i tell you why it is it is important how to start your work because look here is you'll see you will see very good where it is the chain two because here into the chain two we need to make the last single crochet look and your crochet enter very easy into the chain two okay so always turn, turn your work like i showed once again one two and turn okay now you repeat you skip one and you repeat these two rows if you want to make like I make you need to make three groups one skip two into the third make three double crochet one two and three okay look so repeat this group 
three times. One, two, and three. So one, two, and three. And then I will show you how to change the color. Okay? I almost finished the group number three. Look, see? And I need to make this last single crochet. One, two, three. And now you insert your crochet into the chain two. And then you take the color that you decide to make, make a slip knot. So don't make the last single crochet with uh, this color and you finish with the second color. Okay? Chain two, one, two, and done. I don't cut the yarn because uh, When we make single crochet all around, your uh, yarn doesn't, doesn't see. Okay, look, here I change the color. That single crochet is uh, it's cover the yarn that it is here at the beginning of the row. Okay, so don't cut the yarn. And you make with the color number two, one group. And then you need to change again the color exactly like I show you but I will make this group and then I will show you again how to change the color you can change the color so many times you want in my case I repeat one moment six times look one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? But you can repeat so many times you want. If you will make these blues for a child, I think uh, you can make one, two, three times for a child. And for an adult, you make six times or seven is your choice. Okay, so I uh, finish this group and then I will show you again how to change the color. So I almost finish this group with these two rows and I almost finished. Okay, and now in this, into the chain two, insert your crochet and then take the first color that you use and finish with 
a single crochet see look and when uh, we make single crochet all the way around this yarn doesn't see and chain two turn skip one and you continue so repeat these groups so many times you need until you obtain the length that you need i will make one moment i will make one more and i will show you how really nice it is Okay. Look how beautiful it is. Simple and beautiful. Okay. So crochet so many rows as you need. But my advice is to make a little long this rectangle because your blues uh, will look more beautiful if you make it a little long but it's your choice how many rows you decide to make okay but the last row after you obtain your length the last row must be this row with three single crochet into the same stitch skip two okay because after we finish we make single crochet here here and here so crochet so many rows as you need and the last row must be this row okay and then i will show you how to make the single crochet around and then i will show you how to join and how to make the edge so i uh, finish the rectangle number four in my case uh, you always after you finish each rectangle take a yarn needle and hide the yarn as you can see i don't have any okay or any yarn and also the last row must be with the row that you make three double crochet in the same stitch skip two into the third three double crochet into the same stitch etc okay now you need to make single crochet around here here and here make a slip knot okay and you begin here in this corner and you need to insert your crochet exactly into the first row who is the base and where we make single crochet in every stitch okay chain one and in the same stitch make one single crochet at the row here 
where we make three double crochet in the same stitch here in this space we make two single crochet one and two into the next stitch is the row that you make single crochet we make one single crochet here in this space we make two one two one single crochet into the row with single crochet two single crochet in this space once again one single crochet two single crochet okay and continue to work exactly like i show you until you reach here and i will show you how to make the corner i uh, crochet single crochet like i show you until i almost reach at this corner here in this space you can you make two one two single crochet and here is the first st stitch at this row in this stitch you make two single crochet one and two and now you continue to make single crochet in every stitch until you reach at the next corner see so work single crochet in every stitch and here you have one two one two and three here you make also two single crochet so into the first stitch at this corner make two double crochet and into the last stitch also here make two single crochet then continue two single crochet one single crochet two single crochet one single crochet until you reach at the end at the end here you make two single crochet and here one single cr crochet here okay make a slip knot cut the yarn and hide with a yarn needle and then i will show you how to join but first uh, i will give you some information okay so i uh, finish the rectangle number four i also make the single crochet that i show you how to make it so each rectangle is ready when you make the single crochet all around except here but first so i have one two three and four i will turn like that and i will give you some information now 
this rectangle at uh, the left side is the first rectangle. So after you finish the first rectangle, make the single crochet that I show you and uh, hide the yarn and that's it. Now, after you finish the second rectangle is here at the right side. After you finish, make the single crochet and don't cut the yarn because we begin to join and I don't want to have more knots. So at the rectangle number two. But first, put a stitch marker and leave so many groups of row you want. In my case, I leave 16 for my model, but you can leave more or less is your choice, okay? So, put a stitch marker at each side and then you begin to join. I will show you right now, but I will turn. Now, this is the rectangle number three. I, you finish the single crochet around and then here at the bottom I leave um, 15 groups but you can leave more or less okay so put a stitch marker at this two rectangle and then put again a stitch marker here and leave so many groups you need until you obtain the space for your arms. In my case, I uh, leave uh, 40 groups. Okay? And then, when you join the rectangle number three, you begin right here and until you uh, have the stitch marker. And then you continue the edge that I will show you. And after you finish the edge, join with slip stitch, make a slip knot, cut the yarn and hide with a yarn needle. And now, I uh, need to join the rectangle number four. First, I put a stitch marker here at the bottom. I also put a stitch marker here because is, this is for the arm I put the stitch marker here and here and also I put the stitch marker here because we will join until here and until here. So first we join here into the front to here until here. So as you can see I uh, I don't uh, cut the yarn You'll see, and turn, turn your work like that, 
एंथ टेक द रेक्टेंगल नंबर थ्री एंथ यू इंसर्ट योर क्रोशेट इन टू द फर्स्ट सिंगल क्रोशे दैट यू मेक ओके टेक द रेक्टेंगल नंबर फोर एंड Okay. Oh, join them like I showed. Insert the crochet from the back. And chain one. Now you skip one at this side. One into the second single crochet make one single crochet chain one at the rectangle number four skip one into the second insert your crochet and join with a single crochet chain one Skip one into the second, join with single crochet, chain one, you leave one, two, always at the, here is the first side, this is the second side. At the second side, we insert from the back and join with single crochet, chain one, and at this side, we insert the crochet for the front. Look. I will make one more time. So chain one, skip one into the second, join with single crochet. Chain one, join with single crochet. Chain one, skip one, join with single crochet if uh, you don't like this type of join you can use any kind of join you want but i think it's really nice and very simple look it's look like a zigzag you see? So, join until you reach at the stitch marker and then I will show you how to finish, okay? I almost finished to join and I have here one two stitch and here one two stitch chain one make one single crochet chain one and here one single crochet
かったよ。メンカルクノート。エンドタッチット。Also, hide the yarn with a yarn needle. Okay? Look, it's really, really nice. Now, we need to join here for the arms. We join exactly the same. And I will show you how to begin. You have two sides, one and two. You insert the crochet here where you make two single crochet. We have one and two here, exactly in the corner. And then You make the same. One moment. One, two. Exactly in the corner. Okay. And insert the crochet、uh, into part. I have one and two. And we join them here at this corner with two knots. And now you also insert. The crochet here into the first stitch, chain one, you skip one into the second, join with single crochet, chain one, skip one, join with single crochet, chain one. Keep one, sorry, you make the same join. So continue until you reach at this corner. At this corner, we don't cut the yarn because here is. Our V into the front and also into the back, and we begin to make the edge. So don't cut the yarn, and we begin to make this simple edge and very beautiful. Okay, so I almost finished to join. I need to join some stitch and then I am ready. Okay. So I、uh, join here into the corner and then I will chain one. And I don't skip one here because I need to join exactly in the corner with sorry with a slip stitch. Look, is perfect now. You chain one, 
and make one single crochet into the next stitch one single crochet into the next stitch one single crochet in total we make three and then we chain three one two and three and now you insert the crochet into the single crochet number three here and we join also with a single crochet now we skip one skip one and we make again three single crochet one two and three chain three again one two and three again we insert the crochet into the single crochet number three join with single crochet once again skip one in into the second make one single crochet into the next one single crochet into the next one single crochet chain three one two and three and again insert the crochet into the single crochet number three and join skip one and you continue to make this edge look it's really nice so you work all the way around okay until you reach here at the beginning at the beginning join with slip stitch into the first single crochet that you make here make a slip knot cut the yard and hide with a yarn needle after you finish this edge you need to join this to side to here until here you begin exactly like I show you to join and then oh sorry sorry and then here you don't cut the yarn you begin to make the edge like I show you so make the edge and your blues is almost ready the last step for your blues is also to make the edge here all the way around here at the bottom and then your blues is ready i hope you like it it's uh, i think it's really nice and uh, very simple and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and bye bye